Just now, three kids played Kua Katie, Hu Ting, and Albert. Please unmute. Oh. Okay, I can hear you, Dr. Gu. Great, that was, that was amazing. Very good energy there. So, um, okay, so first was Katie, right? Katie, thinking. Katie, yes. Okay, so yeah, it's amazing that you learned the entire piece in two days. That two was, days, yes. Yeah, absolutely amazing, right? So uh, you got all the right notes, so that's great, okay? And um, the, you know, the two, the, for, for this piece, uh, we, uh, it's the same, same um, with before we talk about, you know, the two contrasts in legato and staccato. So that was really nice too. Uh, one thing to note is uh, try to be consistent with the tempo, okay? Try not to rush or go slower. So uh, practice, you know, you can practice with metronome, that really helps. Yes, I agree. Um, Practice with metronome will greatly help you to stabilize your rhythm, your beat, Katie. Okay, but overall, you did very well. You are so young and you prepared this piece within two days. Amazing. So next, Yu Ting, yeah. Dr. Gu, how she was performed. Yu Ting, um, yes, very good overall. So, and to play three pieces and, uh, you know, it's really good that you, um, have a very um, different, like different pieces. So the first one is uh, the Hegel's theme, right? Very mysterious um, and uh, very like dark, right? And then the second theme is like grand and stately. The third one, Nick Nimbus 2000, is very exciting, very good energy. And they're all great. And how you manage to switch the mood between pieces to piece is very good. So, uh, some small co comments uh, for heavy theme, maybe a little bit softer, generally, uh, to make it a bit more mysterious. I think that will be much more effective. And then for Hogwarts theme, you, you can, next time you can try adding a little bit of rebuttal, right? Especially for this kind of music, it will make it really nice. And then for Nimbus 2000, I love the energy. The energy is super good. And then the contrast between the two sessions is great. Um, yeah, and congratulations for putting out this um, whole program. It's really impressive. Good job. Yeah. Good. So the last one, the boy, Albert, he played three pieces as well. So how yes. did he perform? Albert, good job also for, for uh, preparing three pieces, right? It's a, lo a lot of music and your pieces are all not easy, you know, it's very fast and very energetic. Okay, and I love the energy that you consistently have. Um, and some comments would be, I, I think today during performance, maybe you're a bit nervous or a, a little bit too excited. I, I think everything was a little bit too fast as compared to well, the, when I heard it last time. So um, not, not too fast and try not to rush in, the music and um, sometimes like with rhythms especially like um, your minims try to count like one two yeah and that will really help with the minim but, but otherwise very good energy and um, yes congratulations yes thank you dr gu so now let's proceed to next house slithering so only one child is uh, dedicated into this house, who is Ruo Yi. Okay, so just now, actually, Ya Fei, she is in house Gryffindor. So Ruo Yi, you are the only one who is representing Slytherin. Let's see how you will do. So now Ruo Yi, will be your turn. Please unmute yourself. Um, I have two pieces. Well, cool. So we just... Which two? Uh, Harry's Wondrous World and Double Trouble. Wow, you prepared two. So please yeah. play all of them. We're expecting. Okay. You can decide which piece you will start from. 
Okay. Okay, your turn. Wonderful, wonderful, Roy, wonderful. Wow, it takes it takes a lot of uh, courage to be the only one who is representing Slytherin. You did a wonderful job. Now it will be uh, Dr. Gu's turn. Please, Dr. Gu, give Roy some comment. Okay, please unmute. Okay. Thank you. Roy, that was great. So, um, so okay. So let's talk about the first one. So it's Harry's wondrous world. So here, um, it's great that you have uh, um, you know, two different moods in Harry's wonderful world: the legato and the uh, staccato. The contrast was good. So um, here, I think the legato section, uh, can be a little bit smoother. Maybe you can add more pad pedal. I wasn't sure um, if you were using a lot of pedal just, um, to, to, to zoom, but uh, if, if you can add more pedal, that will make the legato much um, smoother and much easier to play. Okay, and then for double trouble, a much, much better from um, the last week when, when I heard you, okay? And um, one thing to be careful is like the very beginning, I think you started a little bit too fast and then at like bar five, you slowed down. So before you start, uh, try to think of 
um, you know, the tempo that you want to go and then start. And that will help. That, 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 that will help a lot. In, I mean, that, that will be helpful for any kind of music that you are playing. Uh, otherwise, that was a very, very good job. A lot of improvement last week. And yeah, congratulations. Enjoyed hearing from you. Yes, thank you, Dr. Gu. Thank you, Roy, as well. Roy, you are the only one who could representing House Slytherin. So now all four houses have been all performed. So now it's your turn, audience. I need your help to vote for your favorite house. So I will go house by house. Each house, I will give two minutes. If you like their performance in this house, please raise your hand. So how to raise your hand? Actually, yes, yes, uh, there is a button. Yes, uh, you can press. So we will go one by one. Everybody, please help me to vote for your favorite house. Now let's come to house Gryffindor. So who will vote for Gryffindor? I need your help. I will start to count. Okay, I got Ivan, I got Yafei, vote for this house. Anybody else vote for this house? Okay, we have 42 audience here. All audience, I need your help to vote for different houses. Uh, just now you already heard all their performance. So now we are doing voting for House Gryffindor. So please vote for House Gryffindor. Yes, I can see quite a lot of them. Oh, I can see five of them. So we have five votes for House Gryffindor. Oh, I got one more. So now I have six votes for House Gryffindor. Any more? House Gryffindor. You know, uh, after voting, we will find who is the winning house of tonight. And after all, you come back to the school, come back to our piano house school. Our school will give presents to the winning house. We will award them with special presents. Okay, now, once again, please vote for House Gryffindor. I can see six of them. Any more? Okay, House Gryffindor once, House Gryffindor twice, House Gryffindor, oh, I can see one more, seven, I can see seven votes for House Gryffindor. So last call for House Gryffindor. Okay, there will be seven votes. Okay, so now let's vote for House Ravenclaw. So, please um, lower down your hands, okay? Do not uh, raise the hands because just now your hands is raised for Gryffindor. So now please all put down your hands first. And now we are going to vote for House Ravenclaw. I can see three of you vote for House Ravenclaw. Any more? Oh, I can see six, six of you are voting for House Ravenclaw. Any more? Oh, I can see seven. The seventh is coming. Seven votes for House Ravenclaw. Anybody else? I'm going to go the last call. Okay, Ravenclaw once. Oh, I can see eight votes. I can see eight votes for House Ravenclaw. Okay, House Ravenclaw once. House Ravenclaw. Twice. Oh, I can see nine. Ah, more of you, more and more of you standing up to vote. Oh, I can see 10. The number is keep growing. Okay, so House Ravenclaw once, House Ravenclaw twice, House Ravenclaw. Okay, done. So there are 10 votes for House Ravenclaw. Okay, now let's come to the House Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff has the most performers, three of them, Katie, Yiting, and Albert. Let's see how many votes. Okay, uh, so who vote for just now the house Ravenclaw? Please put down your hands. 
And now we are going to vote for House Hufflepuff. Okay, so let's see. Wow, I can see 15, 16, 17. Wow, I can see 18 of you, 18 of you. Wow, uh, please click the hand, uh, raise hand button. Uh, do not only raise up your hand on the screen <laughs> because we are counting on the raise hand buttons only. Okay, so we are voting for House Hufflepuff. Now I have 20, wow, 20 of them. 20 of them voting for House Hufflepuff. Okay, so now House Hufflepuff once. House Hufflepuff go twice. Any more? Any more? Any more voting for House Hufflepuff? House Hufflepuff? Last time. Okay, so there will be 20 votes. Wow, there are a lot. Let's move on. The last house, which is House Slytherin. Okay, so for House Slytherin, who will vote? Okay, for the for the hands who raised for House Hufflepuff, you can put it down now. And uh, we are going to vote for House Slytherin. So Slytherin, I can see nine of you voted. Okay, nine of you. Okay, any more? Any more? House Slytherin. Oh, I can see 10 of you. The number is increasing. House Slytherin. Any more? Any more voting for House Slytherin? Now I can see 11. Thank you very much. 11 votes. Wow, 12. The number is still increasing. A lot of people vote for this little boy, Roy. He is the only one who is representing House Slytherin. Wow, 12. I can see 12 of you. 13. Wow, the number keeps moving. Wow, 13 of you, 14. Wow. See, though you are alone, but you are not alone. <laughs> so 14, 15, 15 of you vote for House Slytherin. No, I'm going to go the last announce. House Slytherin once, House Slytherin twice. Any more? Any more votes? Okay, 16. I can see 16. Any more? House Slytherin last core okay so there will be 16 votes for house slithering let me summarize for house Gryffindor, i received seven votes for house ravenclaw i received 10. for house hufflepuff oh i received really a lot i received 20 votes and for house slithering 16 votes wow surprisingly Okay, so now I'm going to announce tonight's winner. The house who win tonight's concert is House Hufflepuff. Congratulations, Katie. Congratulations, Yuting. Congratulations, Albert. Three of you will be awarded when you come back to school. And uh, maybe we will take a photo of all the presents we will give you huh? and send you later. So thank you everyone for participating tonight's concert. We have a lot of performers, nine of them plus one teacher, teacher Alina. She did a wonderful job. She performed Hagrid's theme, which is, I enjoyed quite a lot. So tonight's winner is House Hufflepuff. They received 20 votes. I'm going to call it tonight. Though I know all of you don't want to end this concert, but it's really going to end. Don't worry, we will hold another concert similar to this very soon. Please stay tuned. So all of you, goodbye. And I wish to see you very soon. Congratulations, winners. Congratulations. Hufflepuff. Also, congratulations to all the participants. You did a wonderful job. A lot of you only made the piece within two days, three days, some one week, and some of you performed three very long pieces. And uh, it's really very brave of you 
all of you to stand up and participate in this concert. Thank you very much and uh, see you again. Bye-bye. See you. Bye.